Good morning. Live scenes coming to you. Ooh. Live scenes including the other side of my mobile phone. Uh, live scenes coming to you from uh, the morning dog walk. Uh, everyone else in the household has been deposited in various places. Humphrey, the Black Labrador, thinks that this field we walk around regularly is his own all-you-can-eat-poo buffet. Apologies if that triggers anyone uh, of a nervous, gagging disposition. Um, but that's what he does, uh, which is disgusting. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm here to talk to you about um, the importance of having an outlet. Uh, and so, well, yeah, what am I talking about, essentially? So, actually, it goes back to some thoughts about um, something in stress and resilience theory, about the stress bucket. You may or may not have come across this before. Um, and it's all about stress management, essentially, and how you can bounce back a little bit easier, how you can manage stress. And I think, unless you've been hiding in a hole over the past couple of years, your life's probably been a bit more stressful than uh, than it was before, or perhaps you haven't noticed any difference if your life was already fairly stressful. Um, but essentially, the stress bucket model is a bit of a crude model, but um, everyone has this bucket, and the size or capacity of that bucket really varies quite significantly between people, and also within the same person. The size of the bucket or the capacity of the bucket will vary from day to day as well, depending on other extraneous things like how much sleep you've had, what kind of physical state you're in on that particular day. So that bucket or whatever you want to imagine, if you don't like the word bucket because I keep saying it and I'm not sure I like it, um, whatever receptacle you're imagining right now, that's what, uh, that's the amount of stress that you can manage for that day so you have an input and you have an output so yeah bucket's probably not the best analogy because I think if my bucket has a leak in it then I'm not very happy so you'll have an input and that's where your stress is coming from so whatever stress isn't strange you're facing from the day you go into the bucket when you reach the top of that bucket and it starts to overflow then that's you getting to the point of overwhelm okay we obviously want to avoid that happening if we can um, so you need some way of emptying that bucket or some kind of outlet. So I like to imagine uh, a valve or a tap on the side of the bucket um, just so that you can occasionally turn that bad boy on and let some of that stress out of the bucket. Okay, so that's really what I mean about the importance of having an outlet. And that's really been coming to the fore for me recently. Uh, I've talked a little bit on these videos and in some other content that I've done about how I've been feeling of late um, just with the build up of stuff from over the past couple of years and you know if you add in a bit of sleep deprivation from young children in the house and a dog that occasionally likes to have an upset tummy at unsociable hours of the night barking to go out which I suppose is better than pooing all over the kitchen but still uh, disturbed nights, lack of sleep does eat away at your resilience somewhat um, I was obviously isolating with COVID fairly recently. I encountered some difficulties when I went back to work, just about feeling guilty for abandoning the team and also just feeling a bit powerless over the whole work situation at the moment. Uh, and I won't get too heavily into that because I have mentioned it here before, but ultimately I recognised the need that I needed to do something about the way I was feeling and again I've mentioned this already I think I did something really important was kind of made my feelings known about how I was feeling which was a really positive thing to do so that people around me were aware lots of people approached me to check I was okay which you know I am but I recognized that I was not comfortable and I was not feeling the way I thought I should um and so I just wanted to talk about some of the outlets that I have on a day-to-day -day basis. And actually, in a fairly short period of time, I am feeling much better, but I have had a few days off. So we'll see how I feel when I go back to work this evening. Um, so as part of the morning routine, I get up quite early because it's quite nice to get up and um, get some stuff done. So I do some personal development, listen to a podcast, uh, watch something reasonably lighthearted and informative on YouTube, potentially. I uh, do some work on some of my written social media content. Um, I do some morning accountability stuff for uh, um, an online mentoring group that I'm in, that I'm part of, that I'm in, 
as a member and one of the other things I do is, is journaling and that's a fairly recent thing that I've started doing uh, and I'm going to be doing some written content about this fairly soon um, but that's a fairly new thing that I've, I've wanted to try for a little while um, but I haven't quite found a way to insert it into my daily habits so I thought that might be a good way to try and process some of the stuff that's going on some of the stuff that I'm worrying about particularly where part of the issue was me losing touch with what I had control over and what I didn't and just genu genuinely feel it generally apologies just feeling a bit a bit lost with it all really not sure what to do next feeling weight of expectation so the the journaling habit early days and I'll maybe talk a bit more about journaling when I've been doing it for a bit longer um but that's that's been good so far that gives me a bit of an outlet so I get up in the morning and I have some prompts about what you know what challenges might I face that day and how might I combat them uh, what one thing do I need to get done that day and um What's the other thing? What am I grateful for? And then check in midday, quick prompt. What's worrying me? And how can I decatastrophize that? How can I uh, uh, and you know how can I sort of recognise what I can control? And then at night time I check in. Um, you know, how did today go? Uh, what went well? What could have gone better? How can I improve for tomorrow? So that's you know it's early days, but I've kept up with that for the past. Um, just coming up to a week now which has been quite good um, so that's one outlet what other outlets started doing Wim Hof uh, breathing and a bit of cold exposure very early days on that so I'll kind of part that for now but the, the breathing is certainly interesting I'm doing that instead of meditating which I was only doing for maybe five or ten minutes anyway so I'll maybe report back with that but early indications are fairly positive um, and also exercise as well so I have a pretty good habit that's been up and running for the past few, uh, two or three years now, maybe. Uh, and I'm really enjoying that. I've shifted focus from doing a lot of cardio to doing a lot of weights now. Bit of a kind of mixed programme, but mostly strength. Um, and that's really good therapy as well. So I make sure I prioritise plenty of time for that. So that's most of my outlets. Um, I'm just wondering what yours are. Um, you know, actually, do you even think of them as outlets? Maybe just have a pause now, have a think what you do on a daily basis that makes you feel good, um, what could be regarded as an outlet. And if you feel up for sharing, you can either post in the comments under the video or go to one of the social media pages um, and share it with me there or send me a private message or email. Um, and as I learned the other day, some people are watching and not subscribing. So if you subscribe, you can see whatever stuff I've been recording and posting on here um, and also if you go to the link tree you can see uh, where I post some other stuff as well and if it's of interest uh, let me know and I will catch up with you all soon.